Hey everybody, Geraldine Rose here with the unboxed <laughs> unboxing of mostly a Spellbinders and the last distress color from Tim, Scorched Timber, which was very aptly revealed during that huge Arctic Outflow cold snap that we were all having. The Samus says stamp code is wild for you and this one is actually good until the eyes of April. So that is actually nice. Quite often they arrive and they've pretty much already expired. I did get some stuff for Christmas from uh, this one was a uh, Colorado Craft Company. Do not open before Christmas and then I got the Spellbinders wax stamper do not open until December 25th do not open. Of course always on the lookout for Christmas stuff for next year. The Spellbinders hot foil plates. I am really starting like my glimmer machine. So these ones are really pretty. This one is pretty much a full cover plate style with some spring flowers. And this one looks like our wild roses that are up here in BC, Canada. So they were the uh, Sweet Blooms border and the flower pattern. I'll be trying those out actually later today. Simon very kindly had a code for me to get a free item with the order that I did with them. I don't actually have this one. This is the Retro Wishes. This was this came out in a lot of people's crafty gift boxes that we got uh, for the Huntington's fundraiser and or for the Black Friday crafty boxes if you were fortunate enough to get one of those. That I'm definitely going to do again next year because there was a whack load of stuff in that. Thank you very much, Simon Says Stamp. These are for my new better press system. Really pretty. It's the Cosmos backdrop with the stencil bundle on it too so that you can better press it and then go back in and use your stencils to color it. So I'll be experimenting run with that. Finally did it. Spellbinders Universal Plate System for my Big Shot. Wasn't using it enough because the plates were worn out. My Cuddlebugs plates, again, have worn out. I didn't want to buy another Magic Bat. I will be trying those with the Big Shot. Here itself is... Sorry, let's turn that the right way around. The Better Press System itself. I unfortunately got one box that was damaged. Luckily, everything inside the box appears to be okay. So, they send it out to you. With the tape, one little cube of the Better Press black ink. I've got stays on cleaner already that should work for getting that off the plate. They've got three different types of the cotton paper to use with the better press system. I've heard from others if you just use a really good thick cardstock that it will work as well. So there is the plate that they include with it. Some instructions. There is the better press system itself. Oh, looks mine shipped upside down. So the platen and chase come apart. They are magnetic. They do snap back on. Stuff stuck from the inside of the box on there. So I'm actually going to experiment around with that with the Cosmos backdrop today. Here, jumping back over to Tim Holtz, the Scorched Timber. Sad to see color number 72, but kind of glad to try it out. Scorched Timber. So there's the Distress Ink, the Oxide. This was the bundle that came from Simon Says Stamp. And of course the Specialty Pin, which I never know what to do with those. They these are going to be the reinkers for the Oxide and the ink itself. I always like how the ink itself, they've got it super bundled up. It's like, ooh, that stuff gets loose, it's dangerous. This one was really neat. This bundle, they actually included the watercolor pencil for it. So they've got the other bundles, four, five, and six on it, Simon Says Stamp right now. 
most likely I will be getting that because that will make my watercolor sets complete too. I've already got one, two, three. The sprays, which you know I'm going to use up. The paint, not so much. As well, um, I boned out from another place from Amazon. They had colored vellum. So I thought I'd try those out, especially with Valentine's coming up. I just thought it was kind of neat. Maybe try it out instead of, of course, we always do the clear ones, right? So I did get some hammer mail as well too, which arrived like this, but the cardstock itself is fine. And I can see why they say this is really good for foil and stuff. It's really smooth. This, the one side especially, this side not so much, but this side is really smooth and possibly the foil adheres better to it. Anyway, that's kind of what I got to add to my stash and uh, I'm going to get back and actually try and mess around this weekend and get some cards done. I haven't had a chance to do that. I am going to put all the stuff away as usual. I hope you're all having a good day out there that you're going to get some time in and your craft rooms too and you'll be that change you want to see in the world, okay? All right. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.